to my channel. Today, I am so, so, so excited to be posting this video. Today, this is going to be my Catholic room tour. Okay, so starting off, um, when you walk in, you are to the left of my room, and I just want to show you this. Um, so I have this light switch. Um, it's just like average light switch, but I added washi tape to the sides of it, and I think it makes it really cute. It just adds like a pop of color and flair to the room. Then if you look down here, I have a, a ukulele that I don't know how to play. Um, yeah, it's just tuned, but I, I don't know how to play it, but I just got that there for aesthetics. <laughs> then you walk over here, and this is one of my favorite parts of my room because I think it's super cute. So there's a little overview of it. So starting with the top, so I added this um, shelf um, above it, or above my dresser, out of the shelf, and I think it's really cute. It matches with the room. Um, because I have a lot of woods in my room, but I like the white too with the woods. So I have this fake plant here. Um, then I have these song lyrics up here of this song I love, a Christian song, and it's just all about, um, it's well, it's a hundred billion times by Hillsong. It's just like about creation and God and stuff like that. And then I have this gold peacock because I think it's like super cute. Then I have this picture of my dad and I um, up here uh, with the like bamboo-ish brownish frame. I think it's super cute. Then I have behind that I have um, a fan. I don't know if you can tell but it's a fan that my boyfriend got me um, when he was on vacation and I think it's super cute. It has a little bit of like vintage detail. And then um, I have this like salmon pinkish um color of what's it called a flower pot so yeah i just have that above there and i think it's super cute and that's just like the theme of my whole room in a little section okay now for the section above my dresser it's not much um but these are my books for school that i have read or i need to read so the bottom book is basically um left to tell it's like a memoir of this it's not a memoir. She wrote it. Um, it's just a book about this woman that had to survive the Holocaust. Not the Holocaust, but like A1 in Africa. Then a Frasati, um, Pure Giorgio book. Really good. I am going to have to read that. This book, no, this book I'm going to do a video on sometime because this book changed my life. Descriptive Letters, got to read that. Lord of the Flies, haven't read that. Slung the Scaffold, read some of that. And that I let, read last year in school. So yeah. Then over on this side, I have um, basically um, this Fatima little like shrine statue thing that my boyfriend's grandparents actually got there um, in Fatima, I'm pretty sure. Um, so yeah, they got me that. And then I have two medals um, on here. I can't really... So I think this one is a Frasati one that's a third class relic, and then that is a Miraculous Medal, I'm pretty sure. And they're just on top of this little case that I got from the stump of Jesse, which you should go check out their Etsy shop, but it came in this packaging. And in here, I just have a bunch of letters from my boyfriend, so yeah. Then I obviously have my dresser, and I'm not going to go through like all my clothes, but... That is my dresser. So my plan for this dresser was I was gonna add like vintage knobs and I only got to do it on the top so far and I still have those cause I couldn't find the right sizing yet but we'll do it one day. But yeah, so I just have this um, tote bag that I painted and it just has like some random like stuff in it that I just keep in there that I never like go in. And this is my purse. Um, and then I have this little like bandana on my dresser. And yeah, I think it's super cute. Um, yeah. Okay, then moving on to the, what is it, left of the dresser. I mean, it's our perspective is right, but left of the dresser. Um, I have this little fake, I think it's called a snake plant. Um, yeah, I have that. And then right above it are my rosaries. So I have this rosary. It's like an Our Lady rosary. So the cross is flipped. So yeah, they're like heart beads. Yeah, I think it's I think it's super pretty. Um, you know, it's very Marian. Um, and then this one I think was from 
the Holy Land. Um, yeah, it's super like heavy duty. Um, yeah, it's really pretty. I love this one. Um, yeah, so that one, and then that one I carry around, like I use all the time. And then this one is a St. Jude one, and it's green, and that's my favorite color. So I think it's really pretty. That cross is beautiful. So yeah, I have that just hanging right over there in the little corner. So it's my little like rosary corner. Um, and yeah, then this is my closet. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple. I'm not going to go in my closet today because it's kind of a mess, but I have this just scrunchie on it just to add a little pop of color. And then like you saw earlier, I have the washi tape on this handle too, because I think it just like, you know, it makes it all cute. Like the colors just match really well. And yeah. Okay. This is probably one of my favorite parts of my room. It's my like little study desk area where I do a lot of filming and yeah. So we're going to go into this area because I love it. So we're going to start with my desk because yeah. <laughs> um, so this is my desk. It's from Wayfair. Um, so it was super easy to build. Um, yeah, we're not going to go in my drawer because it's kind of messy right now. But yeah, I keep just like prayer cards, my washi tape, all that type of stuff in it. Then I have um, this fake plant from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, Hobby Lobby because I'm not good at keeping plants as you can tell. That gold um, clock from Target. This like antique mirror I got at a thrift store. Then I have that salmon pink color candle that I got from Target. And then these cards I got off of Amazon, they're just like greeting cards. They're like cute. And like, I just think they're so cute. I'm always out of them. It's like halfway, I use half of them, but super cute. Um, then I have my um, Talitha Kuom sticker on my water bottle that I got from the Stump of Jesse, which you should check out. Um, and then I have my computer. Um, then over here, don't mind this covering up the picture. It's a picture of me and my boyfriend, but I, just for privacy issues, I just covered it up with the Saint card, but it's like flipped over. But anyway, that's that picture. <laughs> um, and then I have a candle here. Don't know where that's from. And then this plant from Hobby Lobby. Then my favorite Mary statue. Um, I'm not sure where this is from, but I have so many around these in my house so beautiful i love it then i have this vase here um which has this baby breath flowers in it that i've had since september <laughs> yeah super cute then i have my echo dot back there um and yeah then over here is my favorite part of the desk i have my um hail mary print that i got from Santa Clara Designs from Etsy, so cute, check that out. And then it's in a frame from Target. Um, then I have this, this was my great, my great grandparents cross that they had in their house. So I hung that up, so cute, it's so beautiful. Um, and then I just have a little book quote back there with some washi tape. So yeah, that is um, my desk, yeah. Okay, now moving along over here. This is my bookshelf with just like my random books. Um, so above it, I have this, um, Mary and like Jesus wood sculpture that my mom, I think got in India when she visited Calcutta. So it's super pretty, super beautiful with fake plant. <laughs> um, and then this like scarf she got in India too. It's super beautiful. Um, with just like these light bulbs, like strung down, um, the bookshelf i just have my books i'm not going to go into those and then but i do have um i haven't even read all these but i have um this what is this vase i got at thrift store when i got that um frame over there it's so cute um and then yeah this is this is the best section right here it is my lord of the rings amount of the count of monte cristo and like those books i really like this book so yeah that is that is that section. So yeah, super cute, super aesthetic, really love it. Okay, now the best part of the room is my sink wall. I just love it. So we're gonna go into this. Um, hi, you can kind of see me guys. Um, but so this is like my favorite part. It took a while to make because obviously I had to collect and find all these cards. 
but yeah, I'm just gonna go into it. So starting at the bottom, this is the St. Andrews Novena, but on the back side, like the picture side, I have so many copies of the actual Novena, so I'm like, I need to put one of them up here because I love this image. I think that's so beautiful. And to the right of that, that is a priest, just a random priest uh, art, uh, a priest celebrating the Latin mass. This was in my dad's um, old, old, old missile that he got from one of his priests back in the day. The missile was like from the 40s, 1940 or something like that. Um, then I have this, this was in that missile too. It's just um, Our Lady. Um, and then this is just a picture of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, like in a mosaic. I think it's so pretty. Um, then this was just Jesus at the Last Supper. That was in the Missal too. So these are all like really old prayer cards. Like on the back, there's prayers too. It's so beautiful. Um, then up here, our church just gave these out. Um, of It's just a depiction of the nativity. I thought it was really pretty. This I've just had, we've had in our family for a while. I'm not really sure like where it's from, but I think it's super beautiful and I love it so, 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 so much. So had to hang that up. Then I guess we'll go over here. Um, this is the Last Supper too, like the art print. Um, and that was in my dad's old missile too. So yeah. Then going above, we got this beautiful, beautiful, um, depiction of Jesus on the cross so I believe that's Mary um and you see she's like a sword piercing her probably for the seven sorrows um and yeah this is just so ornate and so beautiful I'm like oh my goodness um to the right this was in his missile too I think it was like a bookmark I don't know but I thought it was so pretty so it's like um it's basically like the nativity scene and stuff again I'm gonna go over here now <laughs> um so this is from Santa Clara Designs, again, too, so beautiful. It's like a bookmark, but I'm like, I need to just hang this up, it's so pretty. It's Madonna and Child, so beautiful. Then up here is St. Clair from Santa Clara Designs, too. This is my favorite saint, holding the Eucharist in the white flower, and I love white flowers, so like, oh, yes, so beautiful. Then I have Our Lady of Guadalupe. Um, yeah, it's just like a big, black thing i don't know what you call this but yeah so beautiful um then this is from santa clara designs too in a wooden frame from target i believe um yeah it's just mary with baby jesus then over here i have something else from santa clara designs it's mary looking up i think that's, i just love her designs they're so beautiful then i have saint catherine of siena my friend gave this to me because she was holding the white flowers again and he knows i love white flowers so Got that for me. And then I have this picture of Jesus after he was like whipped and stuff. And that was from the mistletoe from my dad. And oh my gosh, that is just so touching. And I love it so much. And that was from my mistletoe or from my dad's mistletoe. Face of Christ and the Holy Shroud is just like informational card kind of. Then this is a third class relic from Pier Giorgio for Saudi. So need to have that up there. Um, then this is Our Lady of Guadalupe too, and it's just really pretty. I thought that was a really pretty like picture of it. I've never seen one like that. The blue around, I thought it was cute. And then this is Jesus instituting um, the Eucharist. Really like beautiful. I love that type of like style of um, art. So gotta keep that up there. Then this is Our Lady of Japan. Literally so beautiful. Like I've never, I've never seen art lady of japan like any art like that that is so pretty to me um and then this was a card in my dad's missile and loving memories of a priest that died um so just thought like oh remember to pray for a priest that have died and then this one was in my dad's missile too and it's just um a priest or jesus i'm not sure holding the host um and in latin there and yeah so that is, hopefully I didn't forget any of the cards, but that is my favorite part because I look at that anytime I'm praying and I just remember like what I'm striving to be and all my role models are right here. People have posters of their celebrities and stuff, but like these are who I'm looking up to be. So it just really helps me and helps anyone that walks in my room. They're like, oh yeah. Okay, then over here. Um, so that's my window, um, but I'm gonna go to my bed. But before I go to my bed, 
going to show my carpet. So this carpet is from Amazon, but it's like super you know, it's green. Obviously, that's my favorite color. Um, and it's green and white, and it's like a vintage style, but it was like $60, I think, on Amazon, which is pretty good for carpet. Um, and then I have this bench here that was been my parents forever. They let me have it because I thought it like went well with my room, really cute. Then this green pillow from like Home Goods, I think. I don't know. But I think that just like setup looks really cute there. And I have my bed. So cute. So this bed is I, I built it from Home Depot. <laughs> um and basically it like could be a low bed too, but we put box spring underneath it. Anyways, this is the bed. I have this green, I think it's like called waffle style um blanket on top of this quilt that I got from Amazon for Christmas. So I think it just adds a cute pop of color over this whole white sheet set thing I got from, what's it called? I think Home Goods. And then the like my bedding sheets are green from Amazon. So I think that like contrast is just really cute. So yeah, that's my bed. And then I guess we'll go over here. So before I get into the bookshelf, I just wanna show now to the right of my room, I have these two um, art prints from Etsy. Um, I really like different cultures, designs of like art and stuff. I think it's so pretty. So this is like Asian Chinese, like I think it's Chinese art. Um, so yeah, it's like a bird and flowers and then another bird and flowers. Like it's just this really pretty set. I thought it went well with my room and I thought it was so beautiful. So yeah, now we're going to get into my shelf which i really really love um so yeah we're into that okay so starting with the top don't mind any of these frames because a lot of the frames don't have pictures in them yet that i want because i just got these frames so i need to go out and get the pictures developed and things um but yeah these ones do right here so this is a gold like flower frame i got because i love flowers it says love that cannot suffer is not worthy of that name saint claire of assisi it's a quote I love from her. She's my favorite saint again. And then that's me when I was little. That's, you think that's like paper behind me or something? No, that's snow. I'm in snow all around there. Then these frames don't have pictures in it yet that I want, but are really pretty frames. And I have this that my pastor gave to all of, like a lot of the parish, um, these crosses. So that's obviously in my room. Then I have, I'm not going to go through like my books, but these are my like, catholic christian books in here um along with flowers or this plant right here fake again and then this frame that i need to put a picture in and then down here i have this letter n that my friend gave me for christmas um it's kind of looking weird on camera but yeah it basically lights up then i have this um little minifigure thing <laughs> of the statue of liberty that was my great grandparent, so put that in my room. Then this frame, I love, and I guess it goes with the Christmas season right now, but um, yeah, I need to get a new picture for that. And then I just have this basket here for like miscellaneous things that I keep in there, like my remote for that. Then I have um, this other frame right here, along with um, this candle that is like an Italy candle. I don't know. I thought it was really cute and pretty. Then this was my great grandparents too. It is this um, statue of Sacred Heart of Jesus. Um, so beautiful. And then this is a candle from my best friend. It's super cute. Then this is the story of the miraculous metal. And I need to do like a whole, I mean, I did kind of talk about it, but I want to talk more about the miraculous metal because I love this story and she has healed me. Um, and then I have this green, um, watering can because I do have one real plant in my room. So I use that. Then going over here, this is my bag that one of my, one of our best like family friends gave me for one of my birthdays. And I use it for like so much. It's literally like the bottom is tearing so much, but anyway, yeah, so that's the bag. And I just have, um, my favorite little cap on it that I don't wear often, but I do wear sometimes in the summer but yeah that is an overview of that okay now coming over here so i have my backpack just right here um i guess i just leave it there i kind of leave it wherever but i put that there 
Um, and then this little shelf right here is one of my favorites too in my room. I keep saying everything's my favorite. But um, this shelf was actually made by my mom in like a fifth grade woodworking class. So it's so cute and it literally matches perfect with my room. But this plant here um, is my real plant that I grow and you can see how dead it is. And that's why I don't grow plants. But yeah, then this is my gold jewelry. Well, my jewelry, but all of it's gold. Uh, my jewelry. And then this vase I have from... Hobby Lobby, super beautiful. Um, then these are my prayer journals that I use like quite often. Um, so yeah, those are there, them, and I just keep them there. Um, and then these are all my like Bibles and like you know really like sacred stuff. So this I bring to Mass every time I go to Mass. <laughs> my handbook of prayers. This was my dad's old missile that I was talking about. I should go through that one day. Um, and then these are my Bible, well, these are my Gospels, um, the Word on Fire, and then these are two Bibles, but I use this Bible, but, you know, I just keep this one here, because this one doesn't have any writing on in it, but this one I write in, so, you know, I just, I like the diversity, <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess that is my room. So guys, I hope you enjoyed that room tour, um, please let me know your thoughts on it. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed filming it. So yeah, subscribe for more content. St. Francis of Assisi, pray for us. Have a blessed day.